Aww, thanks, Jackie. It's March and autumn has just set in. The cooler weather has finally started to arrive and I welcome it gladly after the hot, humid summer we had. We had a lot of rain this summer, so beach days were in short supply for me. I haven't been diving nearly as often as I'd like, as the rivers, oceans and streams around my area have been full of sediment and muck from the heavy rains we've had, which has stirred up the sand and dirt, making it almost impossible to see anything more than a metre in front. But I still managed to get out when I can, and on this beautiful Saturday I made a day of it, seeing as the weather was so perfect. On a typical day in my life, I'll get up at 7am and dedicate 30 to 40 minutes of exercise. I'll usually focus on strength training to help tone up my body a bit. My favourite workouts to do are Pamela Reef's workouts on YouTube. I'll usually start by doing 10 to 20 minutes of booty workout, followed by 10 to 15 minutes of abs, and finish with 10 to 15 minutes of inner thigh workout. I love the burn it gives and I can feel my muscles working and strengthening. After my workouts, I do 10 to 15 minutes of yoga. I find it helps me to relax and work on bringing awareness to my breathing when I work out, as I'm a classic breath holder. I've also set a goal for myself to achieve the splits hopefully by the end of this year. As you can see, I've still got a fair ways to go, but compared to where I started, I've noticed I've come a long way, so I'm really happy about it. I've also learnt not to push too hard and force my body to go further than it can, as I've torn many muscles along the way and have had to learn the lesson the hard way. After my yoga practice, I do 10 minutes of breath work, following Wim Hof's breathing style. I find it has been so helpful for my anxiety and helps me to release any stress that I may be holding on to when I wake up in the mornings. To finish, I do 30 minutes to one hour of meditation, following the box breathing method, which is breathing in through my nose for four seconds, holding for four seconds, breathing out through my mouth for four seconds, and holding again for four seconds. This helps keep my mind from wandering too much, though it still does, so I just have to keep bringing it back to the present moment and focus on my breathing again. I'll do this for what feels like hundreds of times throughout a meditation session. Good morning, guys. Today, I am going to make the most of this incredible day that we're having. Actually, I'll show you. It's just stunning. Look at that. Beautiful sun. Ah! I swear most of this summer has just been rainy. So on days like this, when you have sun out and about, like I try to make the most of it. Try and get as much sun as I can in between the rainy days. So today is going to be a beach day for me. I can't wait. This week has just been work, work, work for me. I've been catching up on assignments and things that I've been doing for my course. So I haven't had much time to myself. So this weekend I'm just making the most of it, having some me time and just on a day like today, just going to the beach. That's what I love about living next to the coast is that I can just go to the beach whenever I want. Back home when I was living in Sydney, I was about, the closest beach to me was about 40 minutes away. So this is such a nice change. Grab my things. Good to go. It'll take me around 30 minutes to ride there, but I love the trail along the way and will often admire the scenery as I'm going along. The only times I really don't like riding is in spring when the magpies start to nest and swoop anyone within a hundred foot radius of their nest. The ocean is such a healer for me. Whatever might be going on in my life, I know I can come here and find space, time, and some peace amongst the waves. 
I find it melts away any stress or anxiety I have in those moments in the water. refreshing thing after like just a week of just work 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 it's like the most like relaxing thing to come out here oh, I always feel so rejuvenated and for me it's like a nice reset for the week just to kind of reset my body reset my mind just having a dip in the water a dip in the ocean oh, it's amazing On a day like today, after my swim, I'll go to one of my favourite cafes. Today it was the social brew in Burley. And I'll order an acai bowl and a coffee and just sit and either read a book or people watch. I love seeing people interact with their friends and family, plus cafe food is just the bomb. <laughs> I love the social brew as it's like being out in nature while still being in suburbia. They have hanging plants all over the cafe and soft lighting which I feel creates the illusion of a forest. It's very peaceful here, even on busy days like today. In the late afternoon, I love to go for a swim. I did it a lot during the summer as it was just so hot and humid and it helped me cool down in the evenings. As it's only just the start of autumn, the weather's still been warm enough to do evening swims. I love this time of day as it's so much quieter and there's usually no one else using the pool at this hour. So for dinner tonight, I made a broccoli and sweet potato salad. It's so good. And then the dressing, I just used uh, tahini, honey, you can also use mustard seed instead, olive oil, garlic, and tamari sauce. And I just mix that together and oh my gosh, it's so good. The dressing honestly makes the salad, it is amazing. And then I just used spinach, broccoli, which I boiled, and sweet potato, which I roasted. Aww, thanks Jackie. I was just thinking about you. Aww. Wanna know why? Because I love you. Aww, I love you too. Aww, I love you too. Have fun. You will be missed. I'll miss you. Aww, I'll miss you too. I'm gonna go for one. 
Okay. I have one. Oh, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll and see you tomorrow. Thank you. I look forward to it. Wow. Thank you to every single one of you for subscribing and watching my videos. I am so moved to have 5,000 of you who want to watch my videos and follow my journey and be part of this amazing community we have here. I am so humbled and so thankful for all of you here. I'd love to get to know you a little better. Please share in the comments below a little bit about yourself. I'd really love to get to know you all a little bit better because it's easier to take in how many of you actually are watching these videos. I hope I can make your day a little bit brighter with this video. I also want to say that I hope you stay safe. I hope you take care of yourself and of each other. It's really hard times right now. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon.